Welcome back. Morgan Stanley is being accused of mismanaging its own employees' 401k plans. A participant in the firm's retirement plan filed a lawsuit alleging it offers investment options that have too high fees and poor track records. We reached out to Morgan Stanley for a comment, but the firm declined to issue a statement. It is the latest in a number of recent similar lawsuits. Franklin Templeton's 401k plan hit with a similar suit last month. MIT, New York University, and Yale are among the others. Joining us now is Charles Field, who represents the plaintiff for the Morgan Stanley case. It's great to have you with us. You've really shaken things up, sir. And um, explain what you think is at stake here. I mean, is this about Morgan Stanley particularly, or does it represent a much larger uh, move here? Kelly, this is an important area in society today because millions of uh, American workers depend on these type of retirement accounts. They deposit uh, their hard-earned savings in these accounts every paycheck and that they hope the employer will design a plan that has good investments, that has reasonable costs, and that they're monitoring the investments in these plans so that the people can retire and enjoy their retirement savings. So it, it goes beyond Morgan Stanley. It, it goes to all of the plans that are being managed in the United States. Mr. Field, um, is it wrong for a, a fund or a set of funds to perform poorly? Is that unto itself uh, a violation of the law, or is it really more about the cost of those funds? It's really both. Uh, there is a federal law that is designed to protect the retirement savings of American workers. It's called ERISA. Mm -hmm. And ERISA imposes basic fiduciary duties on employers who set up these plans. The basic interest is they have to operate in the best interest of their employees, which means they have to select prudent investments for the plan, they have to manage the costs, and then they have to monitor those investments and costs to ensure that the plan is still operating in the best interest of the employee. So poor performance by itself is not necessarily uh, a bad thing, but if you leave uh, an investment on a plan for too long and you've not monitored the investment and removed mm -hmm. that when you should have, that is a violation of your fiduciary duty under ERISA. Would it, would it be a violation, Mr. Field, not to offer exclusively index funds? It would not be a violation not to exclusively. You can make, uh, you, you can select or construct a portfolio that is made up of both passive and actively managed funds. And then from that, the uh, participants can decide. But that doesn't mean that you should just construct the portfolio and then leave it alone, ignore it. Uh, once it's constructed, once you select the investment portfolio, then you have to monitor it to make sure that what you've put on the plan is still a sound investment for employees. Uh, Mr. Field, presumably the funds that were in this plan were also used in other retirement plans. Is that correct? I mean, is it something that uh, is specific to the operation of this plan or would these funds be unsuitable in your view for any other corporate plan? Well, Morgan Stanley constructed this plan, our complaint alleges, with poor to mediocre performers, uh, many of which were Morgan Stanley's own proprietary mutual funds. And a few of these uh, proprietary funds were, were abysmal performers. And uh, our complaint alleges that, uh, that these were the reason that Morgan Stanley employees lost significant money in the plan. We also noticed that when we looked at the Morgan Stanley proprietary funds, many of these funds that were in the plan were charging administrative and investment advisory fees that were higher than what Morgan Stanley charged its outside clients hmm. for a similar investment strategy and like assets. Let me just ask you before we have to let you go, um, under ERISA you can actually hold directors, these directors of, of the plans, responsible or liable, is, is that correct? Are you going after people individually here? We have named the directors uh, in this case because they were proper defendants. We uh, examined Morgan Stanley's uh, retirement plan document that they had filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission. 
and that document identified the board of directors. I think we just lost the shot there uh, with Charles Phil. You still there? No, we've lost him. Uh, but glad uh, the point was made. They have identified the director on the plan in the lawsuit. And it's just one of many, as we noted, Charles Field, Sanford Heisler partner.